Lorend is looking like she's coming to Genshin Impact very soon. And she looks absolutely amazing. He has an incredible animation with her pistols and her attacks. And it just looks absolutely insane. Not only that, but she also has a bond of life mechanic. Yeah, we'll get into that in just a little bit of a second. I want you guys to subscribe and like to this video if you guys want to stay within the algorithm. It will help me out a lot. I'll appreciate it a ton. Lorend is coming soon. And oh boy am i excited but not only that we also got siege green and sea dose both look pretty interesting too but let's talk about chlorine a little bit first chlorine sword user at least from what i've seen <laughs> she has a sword and a pistol and it looks incredible she has a bond of life mechanic and whenever it gets to a certain percentage you get to dash with your elemental skill which is super cool because it does this little dash thing and you shoot your pistol more and you dash, you shoot your pistol. It's just super cool. Now with the Pawn of Life mechanic, I'm assuming you do more damage. And with that, that would mean that you would be really crazy. I mean like Arlecchino level of crazy. So if that is the case, which it just might be, it means that she is going to be a really powerful character. Not to mention, she just looks like an absolute anime character. She's insane. The animation, the burst, the elemental skill, dash, just everything. Top to bottom looks incredible. And I will try my absolute best to try to go for Clarend. She looks amazing. I want to talk about what she does specifically. I don't really have more to go off of other than the trailer. So let's talk a little bit about the other characters first. And then my plans and future things about you know the banners or whatever sea dream sea dream is a hydro character and they made sea dream a hydro healer or hydro attacker so her kit is a little bit unusual so she has this thing where she can you know use her bow which she is a bow user and you can shoot little bubbles with elemental skill and a little weird thing with her charge attack is that you can just hold it and then you kind of release bubbles I feel like that's pretty funny and pretty cool too but if you keep holding your elemental skill you kind of release a bigger bubble and this bigger bubble heals a little bit more but she doesn't heal at all until that bubble bursts which is pretty interesting she also leaves little like water bubbles that the same ones that uh Nivellet uses so i think she would pair pretty well with that of Nivellet, and he could use these as shown in the uh trailer right or the live stream rather now Dedrine does have something weird with her kit not only does she heal with her elemental skill but with her burst he does damage and I don't know if she heals while bursting. Not from what I know from the live stream, but it just looks like she literally just shoots a lot of water from her burst and it does damage. That's what it just, you know, looks like to me, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like she is going to be a pretty great character because she's doing a lot of things at one time. You know, she could be a sub DPS, she could be a healer. So I feel like she's going to be an okay character and I will be trying to get to her. Because Monty and characters are really strong, man. And then Natlan is coming afterwards. So much to think about. Anyways, I want to talk about Sethos. Sethos? Sethos? I don't know. I'm not going to say Sethos. Sethos looks like an incredible character. I honestly didn't expect this. I think he's a four-star character. So four-star characters don't really interest me that much. Unless they have a weird gimmick. And boy, oh boy, does he have a weird gimmick. He has an electro-charged bow attack that pierces through enemies. So something similar to that of Chlorin. But this piercing shot looks insane and it uses your elemental energy so the energy you already got from using elemental skill and that stuff just energy particles uses that to fire which is pretty cool so the faster the you know the generation of your charge attack will be based off of how much energy you used up so the more energy you have the more you know quick you fire that charge attack which is pretty cool. He also has a mental skill where he does a little bit of burst of damage. You gain energy with this. So that's, you know, kind of the positive. And you do a little bit of damage. Not that much though. And not to mention that he has an elemental burst that infuses his bow attacks. So you can, you know, charge attack, charge attack, charge attack, charge attack. Similar to that of like Yoimiya's elemental skill. And then you can just like fire off attacks. The only gimmick with this is that these attacks go through enemy. So you could collect other characters too or other enemies rather which is i feel like is a pretty cool thing 
actually kind of like that. I like that a lot. He's going to be appearing in Chlorant and All Hate Them's banner, which is going to be in the first phase of Genshin Impact 4.7. And on the second phase, I think it's Fiorina and Seedrine, but without Seethos. Seethos is only going to be on the first phase, which is pretty interesting. You also get new weapons, obviously, and I think a new... Um, it's going to be a new sword for Chlorin and a new sword for um, well, Dream or a new bow for Dream. And I don't think there's going to be a weapon for Seethos, which makes sense. And then there's some other stuff like the Genshin Impact anime stuff and then the new permanent content, which I have a lot to say about, but I don't think I want to say that in this video. But it is cool that they are adding new content to the game. Definitely a plus. And then there's the events with, you know, you get a new bow which is pretty cool. I guess you could use that in Seethos. I don't really know what the bow does currently. And yeah, just a lot of reward being given out on the event stuff. And then another important change is 200 resin cap. That is a pretty significant change, but again, just making the bowl bigger, not really improving on how much you know resin can get over time, which kind of sucks. But other than that, I don't think there are more changes other than the fact that they teased Natlin. Yes, so 5.0 Genshin back has been teased and it looks pretty crazy. You've got all these weird creatures that I believe you turn into, looking like a weird owl world situation. They don't look like Pokemon, they don't, okay? A lot of people are comparing it to, you know, Pokemon. Please don't do that. They don't look like Pokemon. They look like pal world. They look like AI generated things. That's just me, okay? It's just me. Um, he, uh, okay, I will say this. The green fellow, the green fellow looks cool. Okay, I will say that. But other than that, uh, I think that is pretty much everything that I personally wanted to cover. I think there's like some more like story related stuff in the beginning with um, Ainsleth, which is pretty interesting. Um, and I believe also you get to see... Um, I, I don't know if they're going to meet or not. At least that's what I've seen in the trailer. So maybe they're going to have a discussion or conversation. I don't know. But if they do, I'm talking about the twins, by the way. Main character and, you know, the main character's twin. I really hope they are actually going to talk because they haven't done so in ages. Since the this thing that happened, right? When was that? Like two point something? I think it was two point something. It was in Liyue, but they added that part of the map with the Elon, right? Uh, at least, at least that's what I think I remember. I don't remember. Anyways, it's been a while, and I'm glad it's back. I talked a lot, um, and but that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I'm going to be summoning for every single character. I know that is a lot of characters: Green, Sitos, and Lorend. Yeah, three characters. If I don't get Seethos, I'll be upset because that's going to be the hardest one to get, <laughs> weirdly enough. But Chlorin, I'm getting Seedrine, I'm getting. And I'm going to be making content on them. So that's going to be pretty cool. Anyways, that is going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. If you did like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next week.